You know, I'm just really excited for the fans to see the show finally. I'm excited for me to see the show finally. I haven't seen it. Um, but, you know, the... the you can photobomb by Rosario. I'm getting hair <laughs> kissed. Just like hearts. Like this. <laughs> the possibility of it being... <laughs> the possibility of it being, you know, this huge success is exciting. Mm -hmm. It's really... It's really exciting, and you hope that the fans like it. Who cares if, you know, people don't mob me outside of my house? I, I, I'm fine if they don't mob me outside of my house. I, Tell us about Misty a little bit. I mean, she's been around a while in the comics. A little bit, yeah. right? She's, you know, only the first black female superhero in the history of Marvel. But um, she is, you know, this woman from Harlem who is strong, but she's also vulnerable, and she's sensitive, and she's loyal, and she's passionate about her community and about those that she loves. And I think that the audience will just get to take a journey with her to see this woman who is so self-assured and confident and great at what she does kind of go through a transformation when everything that she trusts and holds dear is kind of taken away from her. So. Last question. Um, I mean, speaking of, touching on that kind of, was, was there pressure being the first black female superhero? Well, I mean, of course there is a little bit of pressure, but I feel like it's the fans that have made me feel so empowered to be able to do this. And their support from the very beginning was completely unexpected and so comforting that they weren't disappointed in the casting. They were excited about it. They were excited to see who's this new face and who is this person. And it seems like they've been rooting for me before they ever saw a trailer or a um, you know, a still shot from set. Like, they've been excited about it, and that's what's made this feel like, okay, I'm stepping into something, and the pressure is there, but it's good pressure. First question is, obviously, like, we've known each other a little bit. We know yeah. your son's a big, kind of a pretty big comics fan. Oh, yeah. What's it like now that you're a part of this Marvel family? He's got to be the best dad in the world. Yeah, my, my son and my daughter, like, but, but especially my son, like, they're, like, they, you know, this is, it's why I took the job. That's why so they stopped they said they stopped throwing things at me and disrespecting me around the house. They're here. They're over here right now. And they're they're they're, they're this close to actually respecting me. <laughs> they might it might it might might need a few more cameras, but they're this close. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about Scarf, because you kinda your character kinda goes through some pretty troubling times. Yeah, it, it's it's a really dynamic, interesting, like all the characters, Marvel characters and Luke Cage characters, it is so dimensional, so dynamic, there's so much there. Um, that you have to really follow, and it's it it it's hard to hard to imagine what's going to happen with these characters. From, and yeah. Touching on like Harlem itself, how much how much of a part does Harlem itself play in the whole storyline for the? Harlem plays an enormous part in the scheme of the story, um, but more importantly, it had an effect on all of us while we were filming here because it's so electric. Um, the, the, you know, there's music in the air, there's history in the air. You know, you can't walk down these streets um, without feeling the uh, it, incredibly rich and deep history. And, and you know, um, it's all in the show.